We start people without any experience. It's basically attitude and aptitude. You know, if you have a mechanical aptitude and you have a good attitude and you want to learn, um, also, if you have a good problem solving aptitude, we're more than willing to trade. I'm Michelle Mackey, People Operations Manager here at Toolcraft in Monroe, Washington. When people write on their resume, if they could discuss a little bit about the parts that they've run, um, the machines they've used, the metals that they've used, that's sort of the technical ex expertise that we're looking for. When you're here, you need to know basic shop math. You need to know how to count. That's huge, counting parts. Um, we have small, precise parts and you have to know how to count them. And geometry is huge. So those two math skills are big. So here at Toolcraft, when any machinist is hired, we actually start them off as a shop technician. And then they move into, they're evaluated after they've worked here, and they we try to move them as soon as possible into a CNC machinist, like level one or level two, whatever um, their supervisor feels that their best fit is. And what really divides them uh, the levels is their problem solving abilities, their less need for supervision. So basically how well they're able to work without supervisor coming over and doing any explanation for them. So when you come in, um, you know, be here maybe 10 minutes early, no earlier, be clean, neat, Bring a pen, you never know when you need to write something, maybe even a little notebook to write notes. Be familiar with the company. All you have to do is just read on the website a little bit about Toolcraft. You don't necessarily have to bring in any parts. Um, just be ready to um, discuss what you know and be yourself. It's a pretty informal interview process and we're just really trying to get to know the candidate and see if they're a good cultural fit and how much knowledge they have. When they come in, we have a basic skills test. So it's a, a, a really short math test. You meet with two of our hiring managers. And then after that, sometimes there is a tour of the shop floor. And during that tour, you'll have the opportunity to look at machinery, talk about parts. Um, they'll ask questions about materials. They'll ask questions about cutting tools and see what you know. And they'll also sort of check in about like overconfidence. It's good to be confident, but you don't have to be overconfident because that, that's, that's not needed either. If you know the basics, it's basically about I guess knowing a feel for machining, but we're not worried about people having that real basic level of machining. To see this development of these young people um, and anyone really with that attitude that want to learn and are open to this to gain these skills, we're more than happy to teach them. And um, it's just really having a good attitude. We're happy to have them here.